Today, we're going to talk about emotional intelligence. It's a word that everybody's talking about right now. Do you know what it means? Stay tuned. So the question is, what is emotional intelligence? Um, I was reading an article just the other day because I want to bring emotional intelligence into a lot of my change programs. It will really help. And what I discovered was you have an IQ, which is what you're born with. It's your smarts. But you also have an EQ, your emotional intelligence. What the article said was interesting. It said your IQ will get you hired. And your EQ, your emotional intelligence, it could get you fired. Or it can get you a big promotion. So let's dig in and learn about your emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is the ability to manage your own emotions. Once we manage our own emotions, then we can begin as leaders, especially to go out there and help others manage theirs. We manage our emotions and we manage the people's emotions that are around us. When we think about others' emotions, it gives us awareness. And that awareness, understanding how they feel, how they understand things, it will help us lead them much, much better. Emotional intelligence is really critical for leaders. I know because I had to learn it the hard way. Years ago, I was a retail owner and I had several stores here in Houston. If any of you know anything about retail business, you know that we have to pay a sales tax. And the sales tax date is always the 20th of the month. It was interesting because around the 19th, the 18th of the month, I started getting anxious And I would bring that anxiety, that worry with me to work. And people knew it. Some people even said, it's sales tax day. Don't be around her. And I realized that my emotions, my inability to handle this stressful time was really feeding into the emotions of my employees. It was back then that I realized as a leader, as an owner of business, I had to manage my own emotions because you know what? I was in charge. I was in charge of the energy of the store that day. I was in charge of how everyone responded. And once I could begin to control and understand, you know what? I'm going to be worried today. I'm going to be stressful. I've got to take that under control, walk into the store and let it go. So emotional intelligence is about really understanding our emotions and then helping others with theirs. So there are five basic pieces to emotional intelligence, and I'd like to go through those with you right now. And the first one is what I just talked about. It's self-awareness. You see, you can't help others until you figure out yourself. So it's really beginning to understand what triggers your emotions and how you respond and how you act through the day living out those emotions. The next one is (laughs) self-regulation. That's learning how to really control your emotions. And I've got to be honest with you. I just got a new puppy and I was freaking out. Every time the dog did something that was not perfect, I was freaking out. And I realized that my voice was triggering the dog to actually be worse, to actually act out more of the activity I didn't want her to do. So I had to take a breath. I had to regulate my emotions so that I could help not only control myself, but control the dog. It's working. It's doing much, much better. The next one is that we have to practice empathy. And this one is about not only understanding our emotions, but helping those around us with theirs. I really learned a lot about empathy just this past few months because I've been working with several hospitals in the Houston area. Um, They're going through tremendous stress right now with all of the COVID vaccines and all of the patients. And the leadership team asked if I could come in and talk to their leaders. I decided that the best thing for me to do was to interview them. And I got an emotional story on empathy that really helped me. One of the leaders said that her team, she was a nursing head, and she said that her team was very, very stressed out. The only way that she could help them was to bring them into her office. In her office, she had a huge chalkboard. And on the chalkboard, she had emotions such as overwhelmed, frustrated, empty, defeated, helpless, burned out. And she had all of these words on a chalkboard. And when she would have each of her, each of her people come in, she would say, you know what? Circle the word that you are feeling today. And they would circle a word. Maybe they would circle burnout or blame or frustrated. And she would sit and talk to them about those feelings. It was interesting because she said she was helping people dial down their emotions. She may have been helping them do that, but she was also practicing tremendous empathy, which is very, very much needed as leaders when we're talking about emotional intelligence. The next skill that we want to talk about is motivation. 
When we're going through this idea of emotional intelligence, we have to figure out what motivates us. What motivates us? Is it working with our team that motivates us? Maybe maybe for some of us, it's those deadlines, right? Uh, I need a deadline to really motivate me. For some, it's recognition. We have to figure out what motivates us. And then as leaders, what motivates our team? Once we can figure that out, we can help, we can give, we can really focus on what they need to stimulate their motivation. All of this goes to the last one, which is developing our social skills. We're talking about ourselves and we're talking about connecting with others, connecting to their emotions, helping them with empathy, listening to them. And as we are doing this, we are improving our social skills. Do you see how much this really helps leaders? Not only leaders, but it helps all of us, all of the members on our team, because today the workplace culture has changed. Today, people are bringing into the workplace their emotions, they're bringing in different perspectives, they're bringing in different behaviors, and they're bringing in different experiences. And as we as leaders, we have to be able to tap into that. We have to be able to have dialogue with people and understand what it is that really stimulates their emotions and their perspectives. It's a human to human connection. So that's it for today. It's all about emotional intelligence. And you know what? I am working on mine every day. I hope you are too. Until the next time, I'll see you later. It's Karen McCullough.